So hello everybody and welcome uh, to the webinar number six with employee founder uh, Sheikh Shorab. And today we are talking about interesting topic uh, which a lot of you have been waiting for and uh, it's employee use cases. And we'll be discussing uh, how you can use employee uh, to manage your field service, call center uh, and agency um, with this amazing tool. Because let's be honest, let's say that you you have a sales reps and you're sending them every day uh, to meet with clients. And you have only uh, their good word that uh, they are saying, hey, I met with the client, I was there, and you need to believe them. Uh, and if you want to be like 100% sure, uh, you can use actually employee and manage uh, their field service work. Uh, so they will feel more accountable and uh, you will be more sure that they are doing the job they are supposed to do. Uh, my name is Jakub, I'm CMO of Pitchground uh, and I'll be hosting this webinar. Uh, so before we'll jump into it, um, Sheik, tell me about uh, tell me about your experience with Pitchground. What is the feedback so far, and how do you liking uh, the launch so far? Yeah, my thank you, thank you as well. So my experience is really great with Pitchground community. It, it is really what I expected uh, because we are really getting a lot of feedbacks. Uh, if we want to compete with our competitors, we really needed those feedbacks. And actually, like I am getting feedbacks from all 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 sides so there, there were people who are using hub stuff there were people who are using dex time tachometer and a lot of different tools and they are coming with their version of feedbacks and and this this way i think that if we incorporate these feedbacks we can be the leader in this industry this is the first thing uh, that i was expecting and number two is that i am i am building relationship with a lot of cool companies so it, it's increasing my reach and uh, and giving me a perspective that what our uh, ideal customers are because you know like uh, finding the product market market fit is the most difficult job and yes. most important job for a SaaS company. So it uh, Pizground is giving me the me the opportunity to connect with my users and really understand that who are my actual customers are or who are my mm -hmm. real users are. Mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. uh, Definitely, there are people who are buying our product, but, but but they will not need it because maybe they will not use it or they are buying this for their future. Mm -hmm. But but there are there are also users who are actually uh, using Apply to replace something else. So they are already using something else. Uh, for example, I was talking to it with a, with their like with a, one user. He, he was using uh, Tahoe meter for more than one, 100 of his employees. Oh, really? And he was that with employee. So I met, met him using uh, like from this community and he's giving uh, like a great feedback. So it's important for us mm -hmm. on, to find the product market fit and uh, to communicate with our customers as well as to getting the feedbacks as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, uh, as a startup founder, like getting feedback is crucial. Um, so before we'll jump right into it, uh, what is like the most important thing you found out uh, during uh, launch on Pitchground? What is the most interesting or surprising feedback maybe uh, you've received? Really? So like we have, we have a lot of one customer who said that uh, he was replacing his entire company from house staff to employee. And he said that, uh, like, he get, gave us this compliment that, uh, like, other company, they're in six, uh, six year or seven year, but we are only in for eight or nine months. So, mm -hmm. we have accomplished this time. So, they believe that uh, within like six to four, uh, eight months will be like far ahead of our competitor. So they said that we are gonna uh, like we made this uh, uh, leap of faith just because uh, uh, of your your enthusiasm and and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and communication with our customer. This is number one. Number two is that when we launched our product, there was a lot of mis uh, like a uh, lot of people talking about the pricing. 
So that, that really hurt me because I, I didn't thought that this will be an issue. But then I adjusted that, okay, so what adjustment I, I, I should do? Then I, I made a post about the clarification and what I, got, what I saw that many people liked that clarification post. So yeah, I noticed as well. It was, it was super successful. I mean, you're doing a great job listening, uh, listening to, uh, to the community and uh, to customers. And I think that's giving you the whole, like huge advantage, uh, like if you compare it uh, with, uh, with maybe more mature companies. Because first you listen, and second, you are very uh, flexible and productive. So you can implement all these changes in a like, really short time frame, which makes you really dangerous <laughs> for these companies. Uh, all right, so uh, I think we can, we can continue. Uh, guys, I see that you're, you're joining. Uh, so today we are talking about employee use cases. So if you're managing field service, call center, agency, you need to stick around um, because uh, Shape will be sharing a lot of good uh, stuff about how to use employee uh, if you're doing one of these things to be more productive and to stay, stay on the top of, uh, of your workforce. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below and I will make a note and we will answer them in the end of this webinar. Uh, so I think now without further ado, we can jump into the first uh, category, which I believe is uh, field service. What do you say? Yeah, perfect. So I, I prepared a presentation. So if you allow me, I will share it with you. All right. Mm -hmm. So, for first of all, so I would like to, it's not only these three, three industries, I would like to cover as many as industries possible. Uh, so I will let, just give a task that what, uh, if you, each industry can take away from employee and because employee monitoring is not something only for remote team, only for field force. So it's a, it's a very vast uh, area and may, any companies can actually use it to get their benefits. So like we have many weird companies using employee. For example, uh, recently we are, we are using a lo like a local company who are using our product. It's an ISP company, internet service provider. So they are using employee for scheduling their employees and tracking their technical stuffs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the time we make a call that our internet is down and they send people to us like uh, the users that, uh, what the what uh, like investigate the issues and a lot of the time these stuffs are not uh, very uh, uh, like they don't really respond uh, quickly so that's why they are using employee to track their GPS and to see that if they are really uh, doing that so when when someone call their call centers that uh, I am I'm a user and I am facing problem with with my bandwidth so they they make a schedule to a field employee and this technician goes to goes to that client and solve the issue and mark that issue as solved so we didn't thought that this could be used for isp providers so so mm -hmm. i'm ready to explore but uh, this is in this webinar i will give some glimpse about uh, what in the industries get benefited from employee and if you have more ideas, always uh, please share with us as well. So, so in practice, it would work that um, this employee of this internet company has a phone with employee app on it, and he it, it just tracks uh, his movement and uh, manages sees all in the dashboard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our first topic would be track uh, time tracking solution for software developers and programmers. Uh, so if you if you are a company or outsourcing company or if you are dealing with uh, uh, technical and programming uh, uh, stuffs, so you can really get benefited from employee because first of all you you can have like scheduling and time tracking uh, built in with employee. So if you need to pay your employees based on hours, you can do that. And also there are many companies who have their uh, main team and there are subsidiary team who work for contract basis. So you can you can in, incorporate those contract employees and make their payment uh, based on their working hours. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's really useful. Um, 
Guys, I see that you're, you're, uh, you're watching. Thanks a lot. Um, maybe you're deciding whether Apple is good for you right now. It's a good time to ask if it's good for your industry. Uh, just ask in the comments and we can, we can brainstorm with Chig here uh, around, about this topic if it's actually useful for your industry. So feel free to ask if you have any questions down in the comments. All right. And, and the lastly, the screenshot alert act as a reminder to keep them motivated. So when you have, when you have an alert every 10 minutes that your screenshot has been taken, so, it, so it, actually it gives an employee and reminder that uh, to keep them focused. Because a lot of the time when, when some engineers, they face with trouble and they are finding a solution in a stack exchange or some other place. So they really get distracted and they, they may jump into YouTube or Facebook, these kind of places. So when they have this, uh, this uh, reminder every 10 minutes, so it, it really works to keep them motivated toward their works. Mm -hmm. So uh, using employee for your real estate business, uh, track your team. So real estate companies, they have to uh, make a lot of team visits to different places to find that the, the location of the, their property and to access the, their property and is it really a good property or something like that. So that, that's how employee comes in handy that you can schedule your employees that you have to go to uh, go to a place which is X and after you go into a place and make the make an investigation and everything is okay then uh, close this uh, task so that way you can uh, uh, find, like really track their progress and also you can find in the GPS that this person has actually visited this place and for how long he has been in that place so it is really mm -hmm. helpful for for many real estate companies. Even uh, real estate companies, this could be landscaping companies. So if you are like, uh, if, you are, if you are a landscaping company, then uh, you can bring an employee and allow him to work for a specific period of time. And you can make the payroll based on that, that uh, amount of time. For example, if, if you have like $15 or $20 per hour, then uh, on that like five hour or six hour a day, they will be uh, doing their work, opening their uh, mobile phone and, and tracking themselves. And when they, uh, when they are finished, they can stop and you can make the payroll based on that. So this same goes for real estate companies, this is uh, for landscaping companies as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for real real estate, it makes total sense because it, they they need to check the check the um, like houses uh, just for listing. Then they need to go there with uh, with the potential buyers. So they are not like most of the time they are not in the office. So this GPS feature makes total sense. Yeah. If your representative visits like uh, forty or or 50 uh, property every month, if you can increase that by 10%, it's, it's a boost in your business. So like you can get like more of five to six extra property visitors, and from that you can make one extra deal. So if you have uh, like 20 employees to count that, and, and, and that is a real boost in the productivity uh, and as well as revenue as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see some questions, uh, guys, we are answering all the questions in the end of the webinar. So please stick around um, and we will answer them, uh, I promise. <laughs> uh, so now about the agencies. So agencies work like I am assuming agencies that those, who pe those companies who work for their clients, they have a client base and they serve the purpose of the client. So what happens is that in agencies, there is a direct relationship between client and, and, and your company. So if your client has given you a task, which is X, and he's uh, asking, asking you to do that task in, for example, 10 days or maybe one month. So there is two things two thing in it. So what, number one is that if you delay the deadline somehow, then you, you're risking your relationship with that client. Mm -hmm. so you could be an advertising company, you could be a design agency, you could be an outsourcing company uh, or anything as well. Like, 
So if you are, you are if you are delayed by one day or maybe seven day, uh, you are making a case that you are not professional and you are risking your relationship with the client. So whatever you make the plan, you need to make your employees very productive to deliver that work. Number two is that uh, for agency work, every day counts, and every day is uh, is like if you if you are paying twenty thousand dollar salary every month. So like or thirty thousand dollars. So that means that one thousand dollar is spent in every day. So so if you, if your employees are uh, are slacking or they're not productive, it is not actually their case. It's your case as well. It directly impacts your financial state of the company. Mm -hmm. and, and so for example, your client is giving you a budget for ten thousand dollar. You actually uh, can presume in advance that like amount of time this will be the, this. It will be needed to do this work at the same time like which are the employees you will deploy to do this work and if there if your employees are taking more time it means that you you are not being able to take an extra client so it's, mm -hmm. it's in your finance as well so in both cases you should really use employee to monitor your employees and improve the productivity and this way you will have better relationship with your clients at the same time you will have uh, you you will have less, uh, what should I say, that like less spending in your company as well. Like these spendings are not counted. The productivity bloating, the, the issues of time wasting, people don't count count those things in essences, but if you count them, you, like it will, uh, you are actually like losing 10 to 20% to of your revenue, revenue just, for, uh, just for the case that your employees are not productive. Yeah, I love it. And I would like to add one more thing that since you're getting all these data uh, for you as an agency, it will give you a lot of clarity on um, like how productive uh, you are and how can you scale your business? Because if you're seeing all the data that you are working on like 80% capacity with the current uh, amount of clients, then maybe it's not a good, good time to like start generating more leads but maybe optimizing the process uh, before you will start generating more leads. So it all boils down to you will get more information about what you're doing, about your company and about your work workforce to make more, um, more qualified decisions as a manager. Yeah, we said uh, if you are time tracking, what happens is that uh, you can understand the insight that what, what like the amount of time a particular project would be needed. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are a web design agency, so you will understand that uh, what kind, like for building this kind of website, the amount of time my employees are taking. So mm -hmm. based on that, you can actually quote your uh, your clients. So you will be like, you will be safe as well. For example, many times people, uh, when they quote something, they quote a price which is really low just to get the project. But after they are doing that project, they uh, sometimes they actually losing money. So who are uh, people who are agency owners? They will understand it better. Sometimes they actually lose money instead of making it. Uh, so this insight will give you help you that uh, when you are making a quotation to a client, you will make a better quotation as well. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, if you're a lead generation agency. So for most lead generation agencies, where we scrapping and outreaching to LinkedIn people. So this is a very important task and. And uh, if your employees are not working to their fullest in their working hour, so you are you are actually losing money. Yes. So, yeah. So, time tracking for designers, organization. Uh, so, like we have this conversation with many people that uh, designers are creative people. So why should I track their time, or even why should I why should I act? like access their activity level. So here comes my argument that you, I'm not saying that your designers should have the same level of activities with those of the late generation people or those who are doing data entry task. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll be able to understand that why your employees are having block. And uh, like, even if, if they're creative doing sketch or actually they're procrastinating. They, so this could be, many things like designers could be actually uh, be, being creative and taking time to build that project 
or at the same time, the, he could be procrastinating. So how do you know? Uh, so that, that's a very important point. I see. And employee helps remote design team to streamline time tracking, monitoring, and scheduling, and pay bills for only billable hours and get rid of of non billable hours. So this is also important. So if you're hiring a design person for uh, like hourly basis, so on that case, you can make that payment based on uh, hour that was actually worked. Mm -hmm. And architect engineering firms can also use employee for greater productivity. So how, ask me. Uh, so many times that, uh, Engineering teams, they have to visit some specific projects. So, for example, they are building a bridge or making construction. On that case, uh, they can assign and schedule employees to, to make those visits. And also, they have this inspection team that, uh, that has to inspect like the details of everything that has been done. For example, there is a big construction going on. So your, your engineer, who is an inspector, he has to go to all those places and 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 report to you so if you are using employees gps tracker mm -hmm. then you will be able to know that what uh, their uh, place of visits and you can also make them uh, make schedule for them and architecture and engineering firms can get an overview of working hours and projects synchronized in one place so what do i mean by architecture and engineering firm anything where there is a physical location that your employees has to go and do something this could be construction site. This could be architectural uh, firm who are uh, making uh, some survey and re and uh, and land surveys. Those kind of things as well. Uh, so these are the use cases for a specific this is specific purpose. Do you, do you have do you have a clients like from this specific industry? So we have client for real estate industry and. Also, the ISP provider client, I, I would also include this mm -hmm. in, in him with, with this particular client base. And we are, we are in talks with a, with a client who will be using our product for uh, this purpose as well, to, to, uh, to inspect different locations. They are actually an, and, uh, a company who is, in, who is in charge of making the port. So they will be using employee, like, I shouldn't say they will be using. We are in talks because the deal is not finalized. So they they are they are a military com construction company in, in, in our local area. Mm -hmm. So we are in talks that they can uh, use employee for their inspector because these inspectors uh, visit different sites to access that whether uh, the construction is going all going smoothly, and and one construction site has multiple vendors. For example. Uh, there are, if you, if you uh, fragment this construction site, so there are com uh, construction companies like in different farmers. There could be three or four construction companies doing one thing. So they are giving this report that uh, we have done these and these things. So when you're making this billing and when you are uh, giving these payouts, you really need to access that this has been really done. So th at that time, you have to send these inspectors. So mm -hmm. we are working. That Ma makes total sense. Uh, we have one question I'd like to ask now because it's uh, it's quite in the context. A question from Anina: uh, How does the GPS work? Uh, they have a phone app. Yeah, we we have a mobile application. So when your employee employee goes for a particular task, so first of all you can assign them in a schedule. For example, they have to do X task in a place called Y. And you can schedule that X task on particular day, particular time. And on that time, the employee can start their timer in their mobile application. And they can go, they will go to that place, they will do that, do their task, and they will stay there as long as it's needed. And when they come back or when they stop this work, they will uh, click stop that timer button. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, you can you can see that their GPS locations. On your web, uh, on your web application. I, I see. Okay. So, any other question? Uh, we have other questions, but um, I will ask them a little bit later because uh, they're quite out of context right now uh, in the in the in the topic we are talking about. Okay. 
So this is the same case for manufacturing companies. So employee has then clock, clock in and clock out feature. So to say clock in, I, I mean that when they start this is timer, timer button, their, uh, their time sheet is already started. And when they finish their work, uh, they can they can stop this time timer and if like whether they were in the, in that particular time you can understand from their gps signature as well mm -hmm. and employee so simplify your project and it also allows you to count billable and non-billable hours that i say that if you have manufacturing plan where you have employees who are actually not uh, within your contract or sorry within who are not your permanent employees who has came by contract, you can uh, track the billable hours and teams can track time and location with mobile GPS feature as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, would, I would like to uh, point out uh, your main um, like USP and what makes you different. And it's, it's about that you are making the, the employees and the workers, uh, you're, you're keeping them in control of where when they are tracking their time which is which is amazing so you're not allowing like spying and big brother stuff <laughs> you you employees are completely in control so they will choose hey i want we're, to track now we're we losing a lot of client even because of that we are because we're not implementing that thing uh, because i would respect because uh, this is our product vision actually because many people will even come to use employee only for the thing that they will, their employee will love it. Because, you know, like uh, what happens is that monitoring tools, many like the companies who are trying to enforce or control their employees, sometimes they use it. So that is how uh, like 95% of the companies, they are not monitoring because their employees don't like it. Mm -hmm. So, so we are, we are trying to make it in a way that employees also like it or, or, to the least is to the least it's doable for them as well so that is why we are not changing our product vision um, i was talking with a very great uh, like client of ours he was talking to have 500 employees on board and he was comparing with other application called text time and in text time there is an uh, there is an automatic button that employees cannot choose because if you schedule them they will have to be tracked mm -hmm. their computer will be tracked so like he was he, he was habituated with that tool and he he asked us that whether we can implement that or not so with due respect i i answered that that even like having 500 employees on board is a great deal for us we're a small company but I cannot change the vision of the company because that will be like really impact our I see. Uh, how we are going to market our product, how we are going to uh, do our business as well. So what what as a company I asked I I advised him and I would advise other people who actually want this feature that your employee first of all your employees don't like this, and second of all. Uh, you can actually implement this feature in employee as well without without being invasive invasive so what do i mean that you can make a monthly quota that for example in one month or in one week each employee has to log 40 hours of their time in employee if you make this hr rule to your company what happens is that like maybe for first seven days maybe for first 15 days your employees will forget to log their time but after that, when they know that there is there is like a HR policy in the company that you, you have to log forty hours every week, mm -hmm. otherwise otherwise you will have your timesheet will have less hour than it's required. Then they will actually cover this up because we are using we are using the same method in our company. For example, if you if you're working for employee and if you're working our your timesheet is less than forty hour. Uh, each week, then uh, there will be like some form of uh, uh, like we we measure this and and we can also like we adjust in their payrolls as well. Mm -hmm. So they they will, they will do this on on their habit, not on enforcing them. Uh, because that's, a, if you that's interesting. Uh, do you think uh, about 
if you are implementing new features, do you think first about the manager or do you think about uh, the happiness of uh, of the employee? Uh, to me, I I I see the both both end because um, I am not talking about managers. I I saw the both end of entrepreneurs and employees. Mm -hmm. So I think that this product was built on the compassion of employees as well as entrepreneurs, because many entrepreneurs I saw the real uh, hustle that they faced. They they invested sixty or seventy k for building a product, but they ended up losing all of their money because that product was never built. Uh, this is a real story because if you like, if you talk with many entrepreneurs, we'll find that you will find same stories with, with many people. I see. So, so, so they are, they are risking their, their, their savings. They are even many entrepreneurs, they, they risk everything. Like they, they, they take mortgage, they take like this kind of, uh, they, they make themselves uh, very, make themselves in a very risky positions. Mm -hmm. So, so and a lot of the time they they cannot communicate their struggle with their employees, and what happens is that the employee uh, the employees uh, treat this company as a normal company. They don't treat this as a startup, or they don't treat this company as as a hustling or, or struggling company. And and what happens is that uh, they they just do the regular work. They have been habituated to work in a corporate company, and they, this way companies uh, companies like. They don't work, and it's a huge blow to entrepreneurs. So this I is see. the company for entrepreneurs. And to the employees is that uh, the employees are working hard for your company. Employees are building your your actual like you are risking your for your uh, investment or your time. But at the same time, if there is a benefit to it, uh, the entrepreneurs are the people who will get the most benefit, not the employees. They are working every day for you. They are building your empires. So. So there has to be compassion towards employees as well. And employee happiness is also very important. So that's why I always say that I, I am not only focused on employees or even I'm not only focused on entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. so our, our struggle is to make this a balance between both. Amazing. Uh, thanks for thanks for the answer. Uh, we have a question if we can see some backend screenshots or how it works. Uh, yes, I believe we can, uh, but we'll quickly finish this presentation and then we'll jump right into it and into the Q&A. Okay, so actually we, we showed the, our product uh, features like uh, our, in our previous uh, presentations, but uh, if we have time, then we can show it today as well. Yeah, I, I think so, some people are joining who, who haven't seen it yet. Uh, so I think just, just a quick walk through like in five minutes, uh, that'd be really awesome and helpful for, for people who are watching. Okay, so uh, managing indoor employees. So employees not only for remote team or field forces. So if you have uh, in-office employees, you, you can also use employee uh, to, to monitor them and uh, monitoring an office consisting of hundreds and thousands of employees become very easy with employees online timesheet and daily activity reports. So if you have like 100 employee, it's definitely like people uh, to manage 100 employee, there could be four to five managers. But employee can, if you have only one manager for 100 employees, it's enough with employee. You don't need extra uh, three or four managers and you can save money on, on, on that as well. Mm -hmm. and employee for call centers. So there are many uh, outsourcing and call centers who are using employee for, uh, for their benefit. Uh, the struggle with, with call centers is that many call centers work on outsourcing basis. So they give, uh, they give the service to their clients and they get those contracts. So if the call quality, if the service quality is not good, then there is a risk that they will uh, lose this contract at the same time uh, they they will have they are this, they have the struggle that to maximize the calls and maximize the uh, productivity of each employees. Number two is that employee uh, can really help with scheduling of call center employees. So if you have a call center, it's it's not likely that if if there is no no one on the phone, then it it creates a uh, like a bad impact on the on the overall uh, customer service. 
So using employee, you can make those schedules. And if you have one employee who, who, who will be missing or who, or who has taken a time off, you can uh, readjust the schedule and appoint a different, assign a different uh, person to that uh, task. And one of the important uh, thing I would mention about call centers is that uh, what I have, what we have uh, saw with, with discussion with many call centers after reading a lot of the struggles of the call centers is that uh, they have this problem that many employees are talking in their phone, but at the same time they are mindlessly using Facebook or YouTube. So uh -huh. This is very because uh, they are doing something on their computer and they are talking on the phone. So even though they are talking on the phone, they are being available, but their uh, their actual work progress, or what should I say, that uh, they are the, the quality of their calls is not as good if if they are doing something else. Do you agree with me on that? Uh, I sort of do. I mean, if I, I almost noticed but that when I was doing sales calls uh, with my on my clients when I back when I was freelancing, I had the best results when I had like normal audio call without anything, like without the video, and I would be just calling uh, without computer with just notes, and I, I had the best results. But when I had like uh, video calls or computer in front of me. You're not focused 100%, so I 100% agree, yeah. Actually, when you're giving customer support, if, support, if you are not focused on, on that particular customer, so like when people uh, call a customer support, many, many times they're actually pissed off or they're actually like, they're not happy with the service. So at that time, you need to really give your utmost focus on that. Yes. Yeah. So. So if you are like uh, like scrolling Facebook at the same time taking the call, it really impacts a lot in mm -hmm. the quality. Yeah, um, I mean the bottom line is that uh, people should listen to understand, and not listen to reply. And you only can listen to understand if you are giving one hundred percent focus. So this is the concluding words that if you have a field uh, employee is not only for field service, it's not only for remote team. If you have a team, actually you can use employee. So I would say if you have employee, more, more than three to four, uh, like more than four to five employee, because really if you have three to four employees, then you can really manage them because um, you have your time and, and uh, you can manage those employees very well. But when the, uh, exceeds five employees or seven, ten, twenty, hundred. It's difficult for you to manage. So if you have this kind, like this amount of like more, more than five employees, you should really uh, try. For trying employee, you don't need to buy from uh, Pitch Ground and open your account. First, you can you can actually have a trial account and see if this works for you, and then you can take this decision to whether you buy from Pitch Ground or not. So mm -hmm. you, you don't need to actually buy because I am seeing many people who are buying uh, four four people code just to test the platform. You don't you really don't need to do that. You just you just open an account for fourteen day for a free trial and use it and see it, if it really works because fourteen days is enough uh, whether it will work for your company or not. Mm -hmm. I would really encourage to at least try once with even like a small team. If you have like more than 20, 20 person team, what you could do is that uh, use employee for a specific division. For example, use it for your de design division, use it, de use it for your content division and see the result that whether this, this division is coming up with, with better results. And if that is true, then you can uh, actually buy, buy this code from PageGround and implement this in your company. So, so guys, if you're still on the fence, I mean, this is 100% risk-free. You can just uh, try the try the trial. If it works, amazing. You can grab the license, and that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks a lot. This this were amazing concluding words, um, guys. Before we'll uh, continue to answering questions, uh, you can still ask them <laughs> uh, in the comment section below. 
and uh, we will jump right into it. Uh, so can you please open the, uh, the employee itself uh, in, a, in a browser and I'll be asking you the questions during, uh, during having it on the screen. We have quite a good questions. Okay, so uh, I will ask the first question. Thanks a lot for, for opening it. And then in the end, we will uh, do a really quick walkthrough of how it all works. Uh, we have a question from Anina. Uh, thanks a lot for asking these, uh, like that lot of questions as you asked. Uh, I really appreciate it. And the question is, uh, how does this solution compare to other solutions? Uh, what does it have or not have? that others uh, have? So I would say that uh, whatever is ne necessary for actually serving your purpose, employee has all of it. For example, if you compare our product with Time Doctor, Dextime or Hubstuff, so the main, uh, main core feature of this kind of product or this industry is that it tracks the activity level, it tracks the screenshot, it tracks the GPS tracking. So if you based on that, so we already have those, but to assist uh, uh, to uh, to do these things, there are some several features which are which which are given, which is which I think are are fancy things to help uh, incorporate this product, which could be like a robust project management, task management, and uh, like payrolls and those kind of stuffs. So we are bringing those things, but if I say that the like. 80% uh, of the thing that you will need uh, to to do em monitor your employees already in done in employee. If you mm -hmm. compare with our our like the industry leader like time doctor or house stuff, so like most of the things that are important is done. But if you compare with other products, for example, Dex time, uh, they don't have this mobile application or mobile uh, GPS location tracking. But even priced at a, at a high margin, so we we have all, all of those. And, and also like there are other competitors, I would say that we are far, far above those competitors. Uh, but with regards to Time Doctor and Hubstaff, I would say that the compulsory features which are actually needed to monitor your employees are, is already done. But uh, the feature that will be necessary to, to, to make, it, make it a little bit uh, like, uh, like uh, more more robust or gives some extra features for example payroll so we are bringing that so we are bringing uh, integrations we are bringing payrolls those are the things that we want to bring and one of the most important thing I would I say when people compare us with our competitor is that uh, we will definitely try to catch our competitors uh, because if they have an important feature and we don't have then like then in the market that will be like that we will have this competition always so we don't want that we'll we'll incorporate best features from all of our comp competitors but why we want to make this difference is that after we incorporate these features we want to we want to make something else like we want to make this data analysis and make these ex exclusive reports where uh, like where people will will be able to uh, predict that like make predictive analysis that where are the time wasters in their company, where they should focus. Those are the things that will be helpful for decision makers. For example, if you mm -hmm. have 100 or 200 employees in your company, it's very difficult to see everything every day. So we will make some uh, big data analysis. We have to, like I, I wouldn't say that uh, this is in the roadmap, but I'm thinking this for a long time that uh, I hope to make is this big data analysis and this kind of advanced technologies to actually help these decision makers to understand the time wasters in their company, where they should focus to remove uh, time wasting uh, staffs in their company and and overall picture of their companies as well. So those will come, come after we are able to implement the basic and core features. 
That sounds interesting. Uh, thanks a lot for answering. And we have more questions from Anina. Thanks a lot. Uh, so uh, how does it remind them to get off the Facebook? Is there a ability to remind them uh, like to get from, from the like some sites? Because it's not the duty of employee to remind them that, that you're there is in Facebook. Our, the, this product will only show you that your, your employees has been has been using Facebook for maybe two hours every day. So so we give this uh, data to your HR or to you, but it's up to you to uh, to make that discussion because sometimes Facebook could be helpful. For example, if you have employees in sales, if you have employees in content, so many of it they have to ask questions in Facebook groups. They have to communicate with their customers in Facebook or even the social media managers. They have to they have to be in the social media all the time. It's their job. So, so actually, like uh, we give the URL that your employees have been using, and it's up to your duty to uh, communicate that whether they are doing what is they're doing is right or wrong. Mm. You actually answered the follow up question as well, which was, what if they have a social media job? <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, and another question: Is there is there a way for them to cheat? Uh, there will always way way to cheat because, to our knowledge, is not because uh, they cannot cheat the system of employee. It's obvious. But what they can do is that if they can uh, stop the timer and do something else. So, so the solution is that I already told that you have to have an HR policy on your company mm -hmm. that an employee has to be uh, log 40 hours every 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 week. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I see. Other than that, there is an, also there is an important factor is that uh, this URL tracking is only available to Safari uh, is uh, to Firefox and Chrome and Safari and Internet Explorer. These tools they don't allow third-party softwares to access uh, the history. So, so that for that reason we cannot show you the URLs. So it's the same with our computer as well. Nobody can show the URLs of Safari. So you should enforce that uh, your your employees has to use either Google Chrome or or Mozilla Firefox. Mm -hmm. I think I think most people use Chrome, so it it, it suffices to that. Yep. And so if they are working in a uh, incognito browser. Uh, on that case, you will not be able to get the URL they are visiting, but you will get screenshots. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, all right, last question I see, uh, which is really long. Uh, so maybe you you won't uh, you won't understand it correctly, but if you want, just uh, uh, you will answer it um, like in the comment after we end this uh, in this call. So the question from Chloe, and she's asking. I have a venue with staff scheduled on shifts to work specific hours based on their availability and requested leave. So they are not at a computer and on the one side. Most important thing for this is for them to be able to accept offered shifts and bid for shifts. To have their breaks tracked as they are paid, not, not paid for their breaks. Will this be possible? Okay, so uh, this is very well possible. Just what you need to do, they're not using computer. So I, I suppose they're using a smartphone. So even if they're not using a smartphone, there is no way for us to help. But if, <laughs> <laughs> if they're using a smartphone, so what they need to do, yeah, first of all, you need to make schedule based on your situation in the company that uh, this scheduling could be that what do you expect from the employee? For example, you expect them to be present on, in a specific ven venue on particular time or, or something else. So first of all, make this schedule. And when this employee start their work, they will start this timer uh, to, uh, while they're working. And after, like in, in, in a break, for example, there could be lunch break or there could be other breaks. So on, on breaks, what what they need to do is that they stop the timer and go to break and then when they come back again then they start the timer again mm -hmm. so on that that you can understand and when these people uh, took breaks and how long was these breaks and th 
this break time will not be included, included in the timesheet. And after, after accessing all these things, you can make this payroll based on your daily timesheet or weekly timesheet, if they are not your permanent employees. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, Sheikh, I have a good news for you. We just received a really good testimonial from Moshe. And he's saying, have to say, Apply is great, was testing it during the day, and we are moving from Hub Stuff uh, to Apply after we saw the results. Plus the support team, uh, in brackets, live chat, uh, was very responsive to my questions. Go get it, guys. No one pays me to say this. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, it's really dangerous, so I, I like that. <laughs> Anina, uh, you're saying that our our stream stopped. Uh, I don't think that's. Uh, I I think that we haven't stopped. But anyway, if you have any problems, we did our best to answer your questions. Uh, but you will be able to see the replay on the YouTube or uh, here on Facebook uh, after we end this replay. Uh, so right now, without further ado, uh, Sheikh, I think we can quickly jump into uh, into the product walkthrough. Uh, so, in just a few minutes, tell us uh, what, is, uh, how Apply works. First of all, we always show the product demo based on our company. So, we want to make this open that how actually we are using Apply in our company. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we are on a vacation for a uh, festival. So, like that's why we are having 85 hours a week work. <laughs> and I'm not sure that our system is full of data at this point, but let me let me try. So first of all, this is the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will be able to see the total hour that have been worked and most hours. So like in your division, which division is working, working best and the least hours as well. And here you will see the projects and tasks, the progress on, on a glimpse. And also you will see the personal progress as well. And then the screenshot feature. Okay. Maybe he hasn't been worked today. So let me see. Okay. Perfect. So you can see this screenshots uh, of employees. You can you can scroll through it through it and uh -huh. yeah. I, so he has been working on the on the website. You can see from this screenshot. And also one more thing is that this uh, this type this activity level bars. So if the activity level is very high, then there is 63 percent. Uh, like there is 63 percent, so it is green. If the activity level is uh, really poor, then it's red. And if the activity level is uh, on average, then it's yellowish. And there is note. So if, if your employees have some explanation, for example, they have been working on paper or they were away for a meeting, they can make this note that uh, in this particular time, uh, my activity level will be poor, but this is because I have been working on this. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. And these, then apps. In this uh, part, you will be able to see uh, what they have been uh, like, what software they have been using uh, on, on 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 their work time. So, for example, he had been using Chrome for one one and one hour and twenty one minutes, and some other apps. So, so this this comes really handy because if you need to see that uh, from from the uses of softwares, you will be also able to understand the productivities. For mm -hmm. example, if Developers you will will you will expect that they will be working most of their time in the uh, in their code editors or Visual Studios uh, that kind of thing. Yes. And if you have if you have designers, you will expect them they will spend most of their time in Adobe Photoshop or After Effects that, those kind of tools. Perfect. So if, if you just see that uh, they have been using playing a games, you can you can see that from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And URLs, so the URLs that, that employees were visiting uh, during the work time. And locations, so 
let me see if we have a location. So this is our uh, local support team. So I can see the locations he has been visiting uh, during that time. From point A to point B, he has been stationed in these places. I can see that he has he is included in sales and marketing team and location taken time, what time has been spent spent on this kind of information. As well. uh -huh. So just to remind our our beloved peace grounders, this location feature is really very expensive. So like many com like many companies need to give Google um, as much money that could be used for like one small team. So just for one loading, like 0 0.07 cent is gone. So so if you are if you are looking for a location app, I really encourage you to. Uh, buy this deal because you are not going to get get any in future because we'll be losing a lot of money for people who are who will be using locations so <laughs> you just lose money okay that is that is quite good and one important thing is that i haven't found any location app which is priced below like 7 8 or 10 dollar so because only because of this reason because uh, if you are i expect that every month employees will load for example 100 times or or, or 500 times if even if, if they load like two or three times a day it, it really impacts our our uh, uh, map api uses because google has found out that they are the only player in maps so they raise their price by a, like a factor of of, of many so <laughs> has jumped uh, it's not twice or not or not or three times like it, the, the price has exp uh, increased in a crazy way. Many people are very angry with that, but but it is what it is. We have to expect, accept, accept that. I would really encourage if you are if you are doing something that has to do with uh, location, employee location, uh, you try to use employee or get this benefit from this deal. Mm -hmm. So the time sheet. Picture. So from here you can uh, see the timesheet of employees. So these are the breaks that he, this employees have been taken. And this is the total hour. He has been worked for eight hours. So when you make a pay, payment, if, if the payment is, uh, if the employee is not your permanent employee, then you can make this payment based on this, or, or you can also make weekly payment based on this as well. So you can see the total hour in, in, in a particular week has been uh -huh. uh, 33 hours. So you can make that payment very easily. Perfect. So next is project. Uh, you, can, you can create a project. And you can assign a project uh, from a particular client. So if you have a client and, and you're working for that client on a project, you can do that. Uh, and, and there is this team manager feature. I would like to emphasize in on here. Many people has this confusion that uh, do I myself has to uh, monitor all my employees. For example, you have a hundred people team. Uh, so for you to actually monitor all of this team is very difficult. So you can assign a team manager here. So employees under this team managers, this person will be able to see their activities. You will be able to see the activities of your managers and your employees, and your managers will be able to see the activities of your of the employees under him. So, for example, uh, you have uh, you have one manager for your sales and marketing division. So you can assign him here, and he will be able to see the activities of of people who are who are uh, working for him. Yes. And the task task are, task comes after below the project. You can uh -huh. create task and assign people on that task. And schedules, as I mentioned, that you can make schedules from here. 
schedules will be from the project. So you can, uh, first of all, you need to select a project and select a task for that schedule. And then you will assign employees for that schedule. Uh, select a fixed time for, for a schedule. For example, you will, uh, just like the question, uh, one of our uh, uh, users asked that if he has employees who will be visiting a venue, so you need to make that schedule that this employee will uh, will visit the venue on, on a particular time and he will spend maybe one or two hour. And you can schedule particular days, for example, Sunday and Monday. You will only only need to make the, those visit on, on two particular day. You can you can do that. Or maybe you can select all every days. Uh -huh. And you can add that schedule. And, and report this, this really advanced uh, feature that we have. Okay, so you can get a great glimpse of everyone working in the company, like their activity levels and how they have been working. You can make a graph from that. That's impressive. So we are not open. So many we we are not being able to show a lot of. <laughs> okay. okay. So here is a graph uh, from easily see the progress of the employee. Uh, you don't need to check everything every day. Just check this one. Okay. So. Uh, you are you are you are being able to see the best performers. You are being able to see the worst performers and people in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it it will give you all, all everything you need to know. Even you should use the employee for only this report that you get every day. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you can check it from here as well. Who are working? One thing you should consider that you you if you are making this comparison on all of your company guests quite okay but also try to make this comparison on a specific project and a specific division of your company because many a times uh, the productivity level of a designer will not be same to that of a data entry specialist or to that of a, uh, a developer so always try to understand that and make make adjustment based on those things mm -hmm. all right so other steps are uh, administrative things you can add and invite members from here you can add organization from here and there is monitored plan and unmonitored plan so which means if you even don't want to uh, actually uh, monitor your employees if you don't want, don't need the screenshots you just want to use employee for tracking your employees time you just need to want to use employee for uh, like uh, uh, scheduling you can actually do that just select the unmonitored plan then you will not be tracked your employees will not be tracked mm -hmm. so this is as, as it is yeah. okay uh, thanks a lot we have more questions uh, from Chloe uh, what integrations are coming as will uh, be awesome to integrate with our CRMs and accounting okay perfect so before answering this question, uh, I just like to want to finish this. Ah, I'm sorry, I thought that you finished it. Okay. So client, adding client is, uh, if you are an agency and you are working for a client, you can assign some employees to that client and and this is how this is designed. Uh, this is this come handy for people who are working in an agencies. Uh, at that time, you can add a specific client and and allocate some like uh, three or four employees to that client. Okay, so this is all about our features. We have uh, support centers and many more cool features is coming. Mm -hmm. Now now let's come to your, your question that what integrations are coming. Uh, one of the core vision of our product is to uh, make the integration very strong. It's not only making integration because integration could be many things. For example, we just take a one, uh, take the task and client information from Trello. That could be an integration, but that really don't help because 
uh, to work employee with Trello, you really need to make a lot of a lot of integration and 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 sync a lot of data. So to compete with our competitors and also to com just like I said, employee is not project management tool. It's not a task management tool. It's not a CRM. So that is how it is built. That's why we really need to focus on integrating with other tools. So we will make very robust integrations. The integrations that actually like a deep integration, it will sync automatically. Uh, this is our core vision with the, with the, this product. And regarding what integrations will come, at this moment we, will, we are working on Zapier. So if Zapier comes, then uh, you will be able to integrate with like more than 1,000 apps. If you if, if you if your app is not integrated to employee, you, you can use that. But regarding others, we'll be we'll be uh, integrating with a popular tools like Trello, like Asana, uh, like uh, Slack. And like ClickUp, we are using ClickUp in our company, so that will come handy. Uh, and, and and lot more tools that that like Basecamp. So we, we are trying our best to make uh, 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 get as many as integration possible, uh, but at the same time give us some time so that we we can bring integration one by one because we'll take time for for each integration. We'll not not give something half baked for for especially for integrations because. Uh, this is one of our plan to get traffic as well. So we will be natively integrated with Trello so that we can get traffic from the Trello website as well. Yes. Uh, so that is why, uh, that is why I would uh, request our users to have a little bit patience. But if you need need something uh, very urgent, you can use Zapier because Zapier will come very soon. Mm -hmm. Amazing, Sheikh. Thanks a lot for your answers and for the presentation and everybody who is still watching. Thanks. Thank you very much for, uh, for sticking here with us and uh, for all the questions you're asking. Uh, and I just want to invite you for uh, tomorrow's webinar uh, because today we are talking about Apple use cases and uh, some Q&A, of course, you can watch the replay. Um, replay on the Facebook page or on YouTube. I will be uploading it. And tomorrow, uh, which is the last webinar, uh, we'll be talking about uh, how to build a tech startup. Uh, so, Sheikh, can you tell me more or our our viewers uh, what uh, they can expect in tomorrow's so, webinar? Um, like, if you are if you are into uh, building a tech startup, so you really need to uh, see that webinar as well because we will be talking about tech stuff so just don't join just join us if you are interested in that because that will be not be about employee that will be about how you will be able to build that next tech startup you could be uh, a non you could be a non technical founder you could be uh, a technical founder as well and you are really trying to build a tech startup but you are not being able to do that because you you don't know what hassle will come you don't you don't understand the process of building a complete product so we'll be focusing on that so especially product based startup so this could be a SaaS product or maybe you are trying to build next uber in your country just mm -hmm. just uh, sign up there for that webinar we'll be uh, talking about a product journey uh, many times a ceo need to be uh, need to understand what project management is and what product product management is even if they have a dedicated project manager, they have a dedicated CTO, but they themselves has to know a bit about the journey of a product so that they can take better decisions. So these are the things we'll be talking about uh, in this webinar, how to hire the best tech talents, how to retain them, and how to motivate them to build a world-class product. Looking forward. I mean, you'll be sharing a lot of uh, experience from from building employee, right? Yeah. All right, amazing. So, guys, you can you can join us on uh, tomorrow's webinar as well. Just go to employee.pageground.com. Uh, we'll be live on Facebook in our group and in, in our page the same time as today. Uh, I think it will be around hour. But if you won't make it, uh, no big deal. You can still watch replay. So tomorrow how we build employee and learn how to build a tech startup. You can register on this URL here. 
And uh, before we will end uh, this webinar and wrap it up, uh, let me just uh, remind that you can still grab employee. Uh, and as we mentioned today, if you're still on the fence and you don't know like if it's right fit for you, you can you can just try it uh, on a for free on 14 day free trial. Uh, so you will be absolutely sure that uh, this tool is for you, or maybe maybe not. And then you will just be able to make more qualified decision. Uh, so for $49, you can get a lifetime license with four users. Users meet, means employees, and you will get everything you seen uh, on the on the walkthrough today. And then uh, the licenses are different, mainly uh, in the number of users uh, you are you are getting. So if you are really big company, uh, you will you will go for the for the biggest plan, uh, which is 400. No, which is 1,000 users. So if you're big big corporate client this is for you and i mean this price is amazing it's like if you compare it to to the to the competitors it's still a no-brainer so guys uh check it out pitchground.com forward slash products forward slash employee you can watch the testimonials here you can read the reviews uh you can ask questions in the community tab uh and just check it out uh read more about it and uh, make your own opinion if it's a good fit for you or not. And if you don't know anything, just ask in a group and uh, either one of our pitch ground team will reply or uh, Shake itself will reply and like enlighten you with, with, your, with your answer. All right, so that's about it. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the same time and we'll be discussing how to build a perfect tech startup. So, Sheikh, is there anything you'd like to share with our uh, with Pitch Grounders who are still watching? Uh, maybe no, because uh, I'm looking forward to today. tomorrow's webinar. is my favorite topic. <laughs> so, I would like to invite for tomorrow's webinar. All right. Okay, so thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Thanks a lot again, uh, Sheikh, for preparation and for amazing uh, webinar uh, today. And I will see you all tomorrow. All right, bye.